welcome everybody to Any Strike the Edge. I'm your host, Scott. This is my man, Noad Lahat, UFC Bellator legend. And on the other side, we've got Anna Paul Smolak, entrepreneur extreme. Um, today, guys, I want to talk about uh, a topic that I, I think actually a lot of people are very, very interested in. Uh, reason being is something that, that definitely you know hits close to heart. Uh, for, for everyone, especially when they're starting something new or they're starting something that you know, might be a challenge. Um, and, and that question is going to be, you know, from, from the standpoint of, of a warrior, um, wh which is more important, um, if either is more important, is it more important to have skill or is it more important to have will? You know, is it, is it better to actually have talent in something or is it better to, to have tenacity? Um, and so I, I'd like to start actually with, you know, Mr. Noad, uh, you know, from your experience here, um, which which have you found to be you know more effective in, in achieving the goals and accomplishments that you've had? Is it is it your skill or is it your will, your uh, your talent or your tenacity? Let me tell you a story. <laughs> when uh, two thousand and nine, I walked into AKA, and um, I was like, "Hey, nice to meet you. My name is Neil. I'm a fighter. I want to fight." And that's a gym that's uh, by invite only. So he told me, "Okay." Come tomorrow and, uh, and bring your gear with you. We sparring. So cool. Now I just came from Brazil. I was a mostly jujitsu judo guy, uh, not too much a puncher. I uh, I come. They say okay, you can walk into the ring with uh, with Josh Thompson. He was uh, the the world champion in the weight class above me that time. Now I'm pretty green. <laughs> and, uh, but he put me in, <laughs> put me in the ring with him, <clears throat> and I'm swinging everything. Go two rounds, toe to toe, like swinging, getting hit back. Like after the after the after that, Javier pulled me out and he say, "Hey man, you don't have much skills, but you have big heart. So I like that. I can work with that. You can stay." <laughs> wow. So I think you have to to start with that. Like you know, nobody gets skills right away. Right. 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 Well, so, and, and that, that, that particular story, is that at the, so, so you said you had like a BJJ background, like had you fought professionally or amateur before that and you, you just wanted to take, take a step into somewhere else, like where was that in your career? I think I was 4-0, 5-0, oh, something like that. I, I competed many times in, uh, in jiu-jitsu and judo, but um, all my fights are finishing like one minute, so I never really fought mm -hmm. and uh, always been easy to me to take people down and all of a sudden... I go there and the guy is bigger than me and he's a good wrestler and I can't just take him down. And he hit me. <laughs> <laughs> and he hit hard. So, yeah, so you have to... Uh, so I, I walked there and I was like, okay, everybody there everybody there were wrestlers and I never worked with wrestlers before. All of a sudden, jiu-jitsu don't work. You know, all of a sudden, like, it's not easy for me to take them down. So I had so much hard time and I was the... the lightest guy in the gym every day i i used to uh ride my bicycles to the gym and i had butterflies in my fight in uh, in my stomach worse than than my ufc fights mm. every day i used to get hit so hard i was there eight years oh. I, I didn't left it i left the place after i was the the, the baddest motherfucker in the room <laughs> but until I was, uh, until I felt that, you know, I got what I needed from that room and I don't need to be tough anymore. I need to, uh, I need to uh, like move on. I feel like, like I'm stuck. Um, but I, I love that place. But uh, yeah, so you, the skills coming after. Yeah. That makes yeah. Sense. <laughs> you, you, you agree with that assessment? Is it the same true in entrepreneurship? Is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, fairly. The idea that someone has natural skill as an entrepreneur, the debate of does it does an entrepreneur have other naturals? Uh, I I don't know. Um, I think that naturally people are interested in connecting the dots, building a business, or they're really interested in in, in learning martial arts. Um, you have to have will. I agree with. No, uh, that, that you have to have will and it starts there. Um, and then the skill is built. Um, and you really have to have the will to create the skill. Uh, because building skill, there's levels to the game. I, I listened to Daniel Cormier 
uh, say that all the time. Um, there's, there's, there's levels to that game. And I learned a lot as an entrepreneur from sport um, because, you know, entrepreneurs, it's kind of a silent profession. Um, in sport, it's this, there's announcers and people in the ring. And, you know, like Daniel Cormier is, is he's a genius. Um, and when you listen to him announce, and I think he's a wonderful announcer, but when you, when you listen to him, he talks about there's levels to this game. You know, you, you have to have the will to, to push past that and to learn. And a real warrior a lot of times loses and gains something from that. And you have to have the will, you know, to, to push past a loss or an injury, um, you know. Uh, so in business, it's the same thing. I think that that's a big topic right now because uh, we have to give credit to uh, Henry Ciuta, uh, you know, Triple C. Uh, the king of cringe to uh, uh, who, who brought this topic out on the Joe Rogan show. Uh, and I think that that's important to note because he sees that as his, the skill and will has to match. And I, 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 I think when I listen to him uh, speak on it, because he's thought a lot more of it than, than I have, um, I, I, it makes a lot of sense. And I think that's, you know, I think that goes along with what we're saying. Um, so I, I hear both of you saying that there, there's going to come a point in time where where the skill is going to fail. Not necessarily fail, but you're going you're to come up against the, that limit, right? You're going to hit that wall. And then in order to, to, to gain more skill, to improve that skill, to increase the skill, to go beyond, that's going to take willpower. Uh, what would you guys say then to the, you know, to, the, to the point that does there need to be skill to start with? Um, you know, so, so for example, if... Um, if I'm a 90 pound woman, you know, and I'm, I'm going up against, you know, Mr. Noah here, um, is, is wrestling really the, is that the way I want to go? Right. Um, you know, and, and this could be true, you know, in business as well. If, if I'm just not, um, a public speaker, for example, do, do I, do I just persevere until I'm able to talk in public or do I find something else that's better suited, you know, towards my skills? Like, like what, what would either one of you say to, um, you know, the fact that there needs to be some skill to begin with before, you know, the will becomes relevant. So what's your question? Well, my question is, um, I, I definitely understand needing the will to push on, you know, when the skill fails. Uh, but can you start from, from zero skill um, and then just will your way into being at the top of your game? Or do you need to have some sort of baseline skill level potential um, in order for that will to be effective and take you where you want to go? Well, it depends. What are we talking about? Are we talking about MMA? Then, yes, you need to be head. But I don't know about other stuff. But in MMA, you have to, It's yeah, it's like open a business and you don't know math or you don't know how to talk. You have to you have to start it somewhere. You know, you can't go from zero to 100 in real life. But, you know, you, you can make a progress from where you're at. I, yeah. I, 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 I want to talk a little martial arts here, <laughs> you know, because um, I wouldn't say that I, I think I have natural strength, but um, I don't have natural coordination. Um, and so for me, everything starts in martial arts with the hips and the feet, you know, the, 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 the rotation. Um, and that was really complicated to me because I didn't know how to use my body. So from a martial arts level, you know, I think you have to start with some skill, right? You have to eat well, for example, you have to be able to train, you have to do cardio, you have to, you have to train yourself. Um, so you have to come in with some ability. And even if you come in some ability, you might not reach a professional MMA fighter or, or, or IPO a billion dollar company if that's what you think is successful, right? But to me, um, you can really develop skill if you practice every day. A knife is sharpened through, you know, constant refinement. And if you do your daily exercises and you focus on your, 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 your the, you know, the granular movement of your punch and kicks and your, and your real, you know, uh, methodology, uh, I think I think you can be an unbelievable martial artist 
over time if you continue doing that and an entrepreneur because you, you, you learn you learn the whole aspect of it that doesn't make you a great fighter maybe you're not able to take a punch well you know I think that comes with more of your cap your, your, your human capability I like innate potential right or, or taking pain I mean that's a whole different th sense of being a great kicker being able to take pain being able to deal with that nervousness and emotion that's not easy I don't know you you could speak to that better than what um, at some point you kill the nerves in the kick so well let's keep kicking like the uh, the tie fighters they kick those banana trees until until yeah, they you, no more you kick the heavy bags every day right. like, you, st you stop feeling stuff <laughs> Right. So threshold for pain can be tight. Uh, gentlemen, you know, thank you both. I, I think, you know, very important topic, especially for, for people, for our viewers, um, you know, both of these, you know, these warriors say warrior in the ring warrior, you know, in business is that as long as you have the perseverance, as long as you have the tenacity, as long as you have the willpower and the drive, uh, the, whatever skill level you start off at, you can refine that and get to a level of, uh, you know, success and it'd be better than you were. Uh, gentlemen, appreciate your time. And uh, we'll see you next time on any strike the edge.